Hey everyone, welcome back to my series of videos on how to use Flask Restless. So in the previous videos, I covered how to do git, post, delete, and put requests using Flask Restless. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do searches with git requests. So because Flask Restless takes care of this for you, there's no extra code to set up. As long as you have the git method enabled on whatever your model is, you will have the ability to search uh, through that model. So to demonstrate, first let me show you what I have here. I still have the same uh, table in my database. It has three rows. And my first example will be to search for uh, one of these items in the table. So first let me set up a get request on just the person so I can get everything back. And it was, as we can see, three rows are returned. Well, not three rows, three items are returned. Uh, Anthony, Rebecca, and Brian, which represent the rows in the database. So to set up a search, the first thing I need to do is add parameters. So if you just call a get request on the endpoint with no parameters, it will get you everything. And if you add the ID, then it will get you a specific uh, element from your table depending on if the ID matches or not but if you want anything else you're gonna to have to search so let me open up the parameters here and I need to scroll up a little bit alright so the URL parameter key for searching is Q for query so I have Q there and then I have to create a JSON object that represents my search arguments so I will open the JSON object here and it's called filter. Let me just double check that. It's either filter or filters. I always get the plurals wrong. So it's filters. So filters. And then filters is going to be a list of filters. In this video, I only demonstrate one at a time, but it's so simple that. Uh, you should be able to figure it out quite quickly from reading the documentation, which I'll link to in the description below. So the filters is going to be a list of filters, and I'll use one filter. So each filter will be another JSON object, and it's going to take three arguments. So name, which is the name of the column that I'm going to be searching on. In this case, it will be name. It's a coincidence that they're the same thing. The second is op. Op is the operator that we want to use in our search. So this could be greater than, it can be equals, it can be like, uh, it can be is null. In this case, I'll just do equals. Um, EQ is fine for this purpose. There are aliases. You can have equals. You can have the double equal uh, signs and there's another one that I can't recall at the moment. And then finally, the last argument will be the value that we're searching for. So val, and then let's search for Rebecca. So let me close out the JSON object, then close out the array, and then close out the filters JSON object. And when I send this, it's going to search for a value that's equal to Rebecca. So now my search results, I get one object back and it's the object with the name of Rebecca. And we see everything related to Rebecca here. If I were to search for a name that doesn't exist like Taylor, I would get nothing because Taylor doesn't exist in my table. If I search for Brian, which does exist, I'll get Brian back. So that's how you use equal. Um, another operator that I'll demonstrate is like and like is similar to uh, the SQL like so if you're familiar with writing SQL the the syntax for like is a percent sign represents anything and then you have your literal values that you can search on so for example let's say I want to search for a name that has the letter a in it so I do percent a percent meaning a can be anywhere in the name and it will match it so let's see what happens when we search so Anthony gets returned Rebecca gets returned and 
Brian gets returned because all three have the letter A in their name. Uh, let's try a character that only two of them have. So let's do in. There's no in in Rebecca. So I'll change the A to in. So I should get Anthony and Brian as my results, and I do. So you can see from here how easy it is to create search queries. And you didn't have to write any extra code to do this because it's built into Flask Restless. So let me just show you the documentation. Um, they have examples and they have the query format, but uh, I want to show the operators that they have. So they have all these operators, equals, does not equal, greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, in, not in, like, has, any. So these are all very simple to understand and the format is pretty much the same thing. Uh, sometimes instead of specifying a value, you just specify another column so you can um, compare two columns. So like in this example, they're comparing uh, the age column with the height column and then you can say um, is the age greater than or equal to the height. But I believe these documents are very straightforward and very easy to understand. So I only want to show you examples to introduce you to searching in Flask Restless. So I'll link to these documents in the description below. If you have any questions about this video, just let me know and I'll uh, happily answer them. So thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next video.